I've now had the opportunity to use this camera for several months. It is, of course, the OM5 with the 12 to 45 Pro lens, and that has a maximum f4, but it is a constant aperture. Now, I, I, I'm not a reviewer, but I'm able to spend time with this camera and really get used to it. Uh, sometimes, you know, when you see these reviews in magazines, then the reviewer, understandably, only has a limited time to review and understand the camera. Now, I can give you my assessment with photographs after several months and several trips of use. And I must say, I have really enjoyed the experience. For someone who is now in their 80th year, then the size and weight of a camera becomes increasingly important. For many years, throughout my 70s, I used the EM1 Mark II with the 12 to 100 Pro lens. In fact, that is what's recording this video now, but it's a much heavier camera. And when I took charge of this camera, the lightness, the size of the camera was immediately apparent. In fact, when the package came by courier, when I picked it up for the first time, I did wonder if there was a camera in there at all. The uh, kit lens, a dirty word sometimes in lens design, this is the 12 to 45 Pro, yes, Pro lens. What that means is that although the maximum aperture is f4, it is f4 over the entire zoom range. However, it does not have an image stabilizer in it, but of course the camera body does. Now, I don't wish to doubt OM system, or I should say perhaps Olympus technical expertise, but I could foresee problems. How wrong I was. I soon found that I could take sharp handheld pictures in low light with this camera, what you see here and nothing else, no tripods, at shutter speeds up to a whole second. And I'll show them to you in a moment. I don't wish to go too deeply into my medical health, but it is important. I take no medication whatsoever for minor or major ailments. In fact, my gym every morning is to walk down a steep hill. And sometimes I have to walk back up it when my bus pass is not valid. I do it to the music of birdsong, and occasionally I see foxes and deer. One day I'll take a camera and photograph them. Anyway, this exercise allows me to take sharp handheld pictures. I have a good general overall level of fitness. Nothing exceptional, but I can hand hold a camera sometimes at a whole second. But sometimes I think that is more to the technology of the camera rather than my morning workout. My technique for hand holding is very simple. First of all I work out the composition so I know up here what I want to take and then switch the camera on first of course then bring the camera up to my eye yes I can see you and then I breathe in, take a picture, breathe out. Quite simple, isn't it? And that simple technique, which I've been doing for years, quite subconsciously, you don't have to think about it, enables me, I hope it helps, to take sharp handheld pictures with the help of the image stabilizer up to one whole second shutter speed, possibly longer. 
the 12 to 45 pro lens gives incredibly sharp images and i didn't find its limited zoom range a problem neither f4 its widest aperture constant remember i don't use any accessories but as i am saving to raw i use adobe lightroom in post production on one hand when taking a picture i don't wish to use something that i cannot get out of and by saving to raw instead of jpeg i add the creative element that can easily be changed later which after all is the purpose is it not of saving to raw in the first place i prefer to spot meter Matrix or ESP is fine for evenly lit scenes, but not those of high contrast, such as church interiors where the exposure of a brightly lit window has to be balanced with a dark interior. Modern technology, including the OM5, can cope when combined with products like Lightroom, but it requires experience. And that, I'm afraid, cannot be taught. As many of you will know, my forte are landscapes and church interiors. And indeed that, the church interiors, are much more demanding subjects. And that is something I test with a new camera. And I must say that I am highly impressed, so impressed in fact, that I plan to continue using this camera for my future work, for the foreseeable future, of course, because uh, I've been associated with Olympus and OM Digital Solutions for over 25 years, and I've seen many developments over their years in their products, and I wouldn't mind betting that I won't have long to wait for something to be better than this.